Actually, let's watch Magnus Carlsen. Let's watch El Cagnus. Let's watch Magnus play some games here if he if he's playing. Um, let's watch him. Is he is he playing a game or not? It says playing. Games. Okay, here we go. Let's watch Magnus Carlson play some Blitz for a little bit. Or Bullet, I should say. Yeah, we'll cover the article and do some other stuff. Uh, Magnus is playing as Minlay. He just scores 15.5, 12.5. Magnus Carlson's rating 33.20. Minlay 31.98. Um, position looks better for Black a little bit due to the A pawn. Black's up a pawn here, right? 1, 2, 3, or 5, 6. So Black's better, but White has D's ops, which are very powerful. I think Magnus is still going to win this game. Um, probably Bishop F8, I assume. Guard the pawn. There's C4. I mean, you could take on C4, but there might be Bishop A4. Oh! Minlay fell for the trap. He was expecting Bishop take C4. Terrible blunder by Mag by uh, by Minlay. Um, okay, so what do we have? Okay, we have a London system from Minlay. All pretty standard. 16 and a half to 12 and a half. Magnus, 33, 25. I think he's lost a lot of rating points. Can I have ads if I subscribe? No, Fuji DK. If you subscribe, you're subscribing because you want to support me, the creator, not because you want ads. Um, I assume there will be ads at some point in the future, but who knows? Who knows? Um, we'll cover Reykjavik, the Reykjavik tournament, a little bit later on, um, for sure. But we want to watch L Magnus play some games first. So probably king f1, king g1, white wants to castle. Maybe bishop takes h2 as a move. Magus goes for it, but you can take and then go g3. Magus doing his best Bobby Fischer impersonation by trapping his bishop on the edge of the board. Knight f5, king g2, Magus will lose. Yeah, Magus doing his best uh, best impersonation. Rook d6, oh, Min Lei is on fire today. Rook f6, and now rookie one, bishop d3. All, all roads lead to Rome here. Yeah, just king h2. Takes okay, rook f5, of course. Take rookie five, rookie seven. I mean, Minlay should win this, but Magnus does have dose pawns on the queen side, so he could get some counterplay potentially. And I thank people for following manually. Um, I think that's Botrix Live that's doing it. Botrix Live is the bot, you guys. So Magnus is losing, but he does have the two pawns. Probably rook h1. I would have gotten rook h1, but rook eight is still rook eight, king d7. Probably probably bishop e4 and then rook e8. Rook e8 or king f4. Okay, takes. Bishop d5. Game over. Okay, Magnus loses. 1-1 one, one since we started watching. Let's keep watching. You like the commentary? Yeah, we're going to keep going with this commentary. It's hot and heavy. Uh, 16 and a half, 13 and a half. They played 30 games. Magnus, of course, always ready for more. Thank you so much to Rockland Chess Fan for subscribing. Thank you so much to Rockland Chess Fan. Appreciate it. Okay, so takes, takes. Standard. Um, This is standard Karl Kahn slash Scandinavian. Takes, takes. White wants to go h6, so he stops him. Knight e5, castles queen side. Knight e5, castles queen f3, queen g3. Yep, Magnus right on, right on, right on track. Castles loses to bishop takes h6. Challenge Magnus. Uh, I challenge him. He declined. Probably rook a, rook a, rook a g1 here, or a3, or king b1. Knight c4, knight d6, big threat. Big, big, big threat. He goes queen f3. Not the worst move. Not what I would have played, but still good enough. Probably rook e1 or c4. Yep. Also, g4, g5, big threat, or rookie one. Of course, g5 or rookie one again. Very powerful position. Knight c6, game over. Misses it. Knight f7, game over. Misses it. Um, Probably some king a2, b3 looks good. Okay, he goes to f3 to consolidate the chain. Isn't c4 hanging, but you lose a rook. You lose a rook. Um, Okay, Magnus using time here is tricky. He... he but now he's got rook a5 trapping the queen. Game over. Magnus will win this game. And he'll gain a few rating points. My bullet rating right now is somewhere around 3,300. Give or take. Probably about 20 points. So Magnus wins this one. Okay, next game coming up pretty soon. Here we go. D4 played by Minlay. Minlay going to play his London system. Bishop f4, e3. Or play bishop g5 is what we call the Tory attack. Bishop h4. Or takes probably g3. Yep, bishop g2 and Castrol. Yep, probably e3 and c4. Yep, rook c1, probably e3 somewhere. He, he might try to play on the queen side instantly. Probably rook c2, rook c1. That's what I would play. Rook c2, rook c1. Knight e5, also an idea, maybe. Probably rook c2. Yep, rook c1. Also, one thing you'll notice from my commentary is like a lot of moves that I'm coming up with, it might not be the exact same on the exact same turn, but the concepts, like they are playing pretty much what I'm what I'm suggesting. 
Um, it shows just how good we all are. There might be Bishop G3. Bishop G3, Knight G4, and GG. Magus wins again. Why don't Magus and I ever play a, a few games like this? Um, Knight H2, Forkaroo. Not to be confused with Kickaroo, but Queen F3, Knight H2 is game over. Yeah, Minlay gets destroyed. Next game coming up. Here we go. D4, maybe D5, Knight F3, Bishop F4, E3 is playable. Okay, he's going to play C... Or actually, sorry, Minlay is white. Black, not white in this game. So, of course, Magus doesn't play the London or the Tory. B5, guard the chain. Probably B3 or E5 at some point. This is already unclear. Maybe E6, Bishop B4. He's got to take and go E6 now. E6, of course. Maybe Bishop B4. He's going to try to go C5 somewhere, I think. Maybe Rook C8 and C5 since it's bullet. Yeah, takes and C5, but then D5. C5, D5, takes E5. Probably good. D4 takes, takes, not clear. But you will notice again, like what I'm saying, like they're playing the same concepts. I assume C4 to open up scope. Rook D6, GG. Still better for Magnus. Great bishop, great rook swings, great batteries. Rook D6 or bishop E4, both very good. Bishop F7 was maybe winning. Maybe. Bishop F7 again, maybe. Doesn't play it. Min Minlay will lose this game just because of the time situation. He's, he's being attacked by Magnus, and he's down 20 seconds. So, barring some huge blunder from Magnus, he'll win this game. Takes 94, rook f5, knight g5, knight e6, ggs. Try to push p here. Actually, this is scary. Wait, c3? c3 is c3, c2, c1. c4 was a very explosive move. c2? Oh, what is bishop f6? You go c2, and then you take the pawn. Terrible. Okay, B3 played by Minlay, playing, trying to play like, he, bro thinks he's Hikaru here, D4. Hikaru, of course, plays this all the time. Take. Knight F8, Bishop F5, H5, Knight H7, H4, all King's Indian attack style. Probably F3 here. Minlay likes to play F3 and then E4. But this is supposed to be better for black, generally. Uh, knight is trapped. Magus trapped his knight. There goes the knight. Knight e4. Knight e4. Knight e4. Knight e4. Knight e4. Or no, now knight e4 doesn't work. Um, there might be bishop g5. Knight e4. Knight e4. And knight f6 and rook c1. Or bishop c1 game over. Nice. Yep. Minlay wins. Magnus is 3300 ELO. My ELO has been up there too. Back in the old days when there was the uh, central bank of inflation, uh, also known as chess.com, they added 100 points to everyone's rating. And at my peak, I reached a rating of 3570. So while 3300 is nice in the in the good old days of, uh, of inflated ratings, I was actually 3570. So I hold the record for the highest bullet rating on... Um, on uh, on um on chess.com i don't know if y'all saw the imposter card from yesterday playing king of the hill yeah we'll do a king of the hill arena maybe later today again because we need to get some rings yeah but 3570 is because chess.com decided they want to be like the central bank of chess and uh, they they added inflation why were they inflated because chess.com basically they there was some rating issues so they basically added 100 points to everybody's rating so like right now it'd be like magus 3319 and chess.com's like okay to stabilize the rating system to to deal with the changes we're going to add 100 points to everyone's rating he'd be 3410. daniel also hit like 3530 or something as well back in those old days of course eventually the ratings you know the ratings came back down to earth okay magus has a legendary triple stack and Knight e6, maybe, or knight g6, both playable. Maybe knight e5. What? Uh, what is that? That's no bueno. No es tan bueno. No es tan bueno. Okay, so maybe knight f3, bishop f4 from inlay. Okay, plays the Tory attack again. Got it taken. Go e4, bishop d3, build a big white center. What was that? I don't know. Are we doing speedrun? Yeah, we'll do some speedrun later. Uh, wait, wasn't Queen DH just trapping the knight? Huh, strange. Doesn't matter because white is a knight on the rim that can't get back in the game. You have Bishop E7 next move to win the game, essentially. 
Magnus should win this pretty cleanly. They just print their own elo. Yeah, A5 all aboard the Choo Choo Train. Maybe takes an A6. Minlay has some hope. Like Knight B3 or Queen E2. There feels like there's some tricks here. Knight B3, Knight A5 maybe. Minlay's getting some attack here. Like takes a Knight A5 maybe. Or Knight A5 right away. Takes. He missed Knight takes C6 and Queen B5. How do you miss Knight takes C6? Now Knight D5. You got to sack here. Sack, sack, sack. If you don't sack, then what are you playing for? Black gets the bishop to b6, you just lose the game. Like bishop c5, b6, and you cover up. Or this too. Uh, Magnus busted out of the poker event yesterday, I think. I think he busted her. I mean, maybe they, they didn't play. I'm not sure exactly what, what it is. But all right, let's see. What is Cagnus going to do here? Play c4. We have an Ali Ekans defense. Four pawns variation played by white. Next bullet brawl will be... I don't know, actually. Should be in April. Will I play Minesweeper or stream, uh, on stream someday? I could, but I mean, it's just it's just a game. Okay, great big white center for Magnus. I think he's going to win this game. You sack, sack, sack. Sounds sus. Yeah. Okay, F5 played. Uh, Black's got a good op, good diagonal. Weak pawn. B4, trap the juicer. Maybe queen d6, queen b4, queen f4. Yeah, he does it. Queen f4. Some tricks here. Some tricks. Although, queen b4, probably you can cover up. You can go bishop b2 in castles. Maybe not, though. Probably h3. Bishop h5, I would have played. Knight d1. Knight f2 in castles, maybe. Okay. Maybe bishop c5? Okay, he wants to go bishop g3. Thanks for the leader pace with a ray with a. Thank you so much for leader pace. C2, the bishop's weak. King f1, bishop bishop f4. Queen c queen b3, queen d4. If Magnus can get the rook and king out of the middle of the board, he's great shape. Thank you so much for the ray with a. Queen e5? Queen e5? Wait, this is getting scary. Queen e5? What? Okay, Magus up nine seconds. He should win this. Rook c1 and d3. I'd pre-move d3. Take the rook. Check. Take. Magus loses. A little bit too careless there. A little bit too careless. But thank you so much to Leader Pace for the for the raid. Thank you so much. Raid or host, whatever they call it on, on kick. But thank you so much. Appreciate it. What is the secret to success? I'll tell you what the secret is to success with, with online streaming. Um, there's there there's there's one one thing first and foremost that you control and everything else you don't control which is first and foremost uh, you figure out what what game or content you want to cover and then secondly you have to be consistent you have to go day after day after day consistency is the key to success ultimately um, with everything online absolutely the, the key to success okay big black center for Magnus maybe e495 here I'd play e4 d495 for sure in a heartbeat he does it d495 takes takes and then queen h6 also scary knight d5 takes bishop c4 no wrong order because now e4 and the rook swings he needed to go bishop c4 first to touch the rook and then knight h4 because now e4 covers a critical square whoa whoa what was knight f3 wasn't rook f3 and rook g3 just winning huh confusing So that was weird. Weird. Probably rook c5, rook e3. Knight g5? Oh, knight g5. Rook e1, bishop f1. Rook takes. Oh, Magnus loses again. He throws another game. He gets mated. Oh, Magnus. Ooh, two in a row for Min Lei. Oof, oof. Did I see the reaction yesterday? No. Oh, very sad for Magnus. Is Magnus stopping? Is he tilted? No, he's, he's not had enough. He always wants more. More, more, more. Yeah, Magnus is get Queen D2 is a mouse slip. He meant to go Queen C2. Of course, it's not that big of a deal. You can still just go like trade and like E3 or G3. Either way, the Fianchito. Welcome to Kick. Thank you so much. Magnus in danger of falling below 3,300. In danger. 
Magus bullet YouTube video and coming. Of course, we're covering this. It's great content. You, you watch the uh, soon to be X world champion Magus Carlson playing uh, playing bullet chess. I mean, Magus, of course, relinquishes his title in approximately, I think, like five days because he's not defending his world championship title. So he will be relinquishing it. We will be covering, of course, the, the match between Jan Nepo Mariachi and um, Ding Ding Loren. They will be playing. Um, so they'll, they'll be playing a, playing a match, which we will be covering. Yeah. Soon to be X, yeah, X world champion, but it's all good. Once again, for everybody who's watching, I do appreciate all the support. Hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. I know there's some people who will, will not move over from Twitch to watch us here, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, there might be Queen of 8 in H5. Yeah, he plays H5. Um, I hope you guys are doing great. Will I be commentating? Probably here I might bring in a, a co-guest. Uh, there's a bishop spying the pawn. Yeah, actually, this just wins the pin. And the sixth rank problem. So, yeah. You're cheering for Dinga, big, biggest, biggest Dingus, right? Queen G6 is checkmate. Actually, it's not Dingus. It's the biggest, biggest something else. Anyway, um, okay. So yeah, so it should be winning here. Before I said I wasn't enjoying it, but I am enjoying it now. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> I was making a joke because everybody's watched Monty Python. There's a typical, uh, typical joke. Uh, biggest, biggest something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, all right. Anyway, Bishop F4 played. Uh, C5, C... Oh, what? <laughs> Magus hangs the queen in one. He meant to go queen B6 and he hangs the queen. That's why you play the London system, everybody. That's why you play the London system. Yeah, very, very unfortunate for Magnus there. Okay. A4, A5 incoming. Okay, he stops with A5. This is, of course, the Aliekin's defense being played by Min Lei here. The same laugh when Magnus hung his queen to MVL. Yeah. Am I in FRC? I do have some stonk in FRC. I'm just holding it forever. Uh, basically, I, I think I don't think they're going to fail. And I assume that in the long term, um, in the long term, that because Jamie Dimon is so personally invested, it looks like, that they're going to go up. But again, that's not advice. That's just my personal opinion. That when I, when I see how... How, how it seems like Jamie Dimon, the CEO of JP Morgan, is such a... He's, like, really big on them. I just assume that eventually, like all banks, they're going to be fine. That's just that's just my personal take, though, once again. Um, so, yeah, I'll take a quick look what's going on. Um, yeah, I mean, unfortunately I'm, unfortunately, I'm in FRC at a much higher price. I got it at, like, 1650 so I'm still down. I didn't, didn't buy a whole lot of shares, but I just, I, I think, I think that, that long term it's going to go up. Like, I think it'll be a fifty dollars stock. That's just my personal opinion. That's not financial advice, but that's why I bought some. And I'm holding it, so I'm treating it kind of like a like a call option, where I think there's like two, three hundred percent upside, and I don't know how long I have to hold it, but that's how I how I feel. So we'll see. Um, what's going on here? Minley playing with black. He's got deuce pawns. These pawns are powerful. These pawns, c three, c two. Probably bishop a3, but you can't push p, because then you push p, I, I guard. Right now, I can't push because you take, but if I push p, then you push p, and you protect the pawn. Rook takes c6. Okay, but now you can... Oh, wait, no, d5, bishop c1. Wait, but then takes, takes, takes. Oh, tricky. Check. Check. He missed that it was check. Yeah. He missed that it was check. Um, so yeah. See, probably Bishop F4, E3. We're going to get a London system again. Send Magnus an invite and adopt him for content. Um, not, won't happen. We get E4 here. Um, you can take and play like Queen E4. E5 also pretty good. Maybe Bishop D3, Bishop F5 ideas. If white can get this king out of the center, like king e2, rook d1, king f1, he's better. Uh, bishop f5 trapped the queen. He missed bishop f5. Oh, very poor. Now he goes king e2, where this is like a bond cloud. Who knows what the heck is going on here? King f1 takes rook e3 and king e2. Or check rook e3 or queen e3, I guess. But now check and queen h2. Maybe e... Nah. He wants bishop c4. I would block... Wants bishop c4, bishop c4, bishop c4. You got to do it. Just bishop c4 to go for something. He's thinking too long here. He plays e6. Should just be checkmate here, no? Somehow? Check here. 
There's apparently a win. Ah, uh, queen f3 was queen f3 was winning. Tough move to find, but okay. The game goes on. What do we have here? Takes, takes. Rook d7. Kebab time with rook d7. Rook f7. Rook b7. Oh, Minley just cheesed Magnus again. He cheesed him again by not taking. So Magnus pre-moved to h5. Oh, Minley just cheesed him. Jeez. Minley is like Captain Cheese today. Rook b5. Rook f7. Yeah, Magnus really is Captain Cheese today. Rook a5. Rook g5. Take it. Rook g8. King g1. This might still be a draw. Is Magnus going to win this game? Why did Minlay not trade the Rooks? Why did Minlay not trade the Rooks? He could have traded with four seconds on the clock and he didn't trade the Rooks. That was peculiar, to put it mildly. That was very peculiar why he didn't trade the Rooks. I, I don't know what he was thinking there. Okay, so we get more Ali Ekans defense here. I would have traded the Rooks with, five, with like three seconds left. Um, but yeah, I don't know what that was. That was very weird. Okay, so castles, castles, all standard. But in a way, he deserves it because he also cheesed him with rook c7 and rook c5. Um, yeah, that was just weird. Magus, by the way, has a dominating position in this game. He's got these ops and he's got the great queen. These ops are going to crush the board and he's got a rook. Magus should win this game. Maybe stat. Oh! Magnus, by the way, my man needs a new mouse. Minlay being way too generous and not taking the rook this time. Um, Minlay being super nice by not taking the rook there. Super nice by not taking it. He should have. I would, I would have taken. But Minlay apparently is from Vietnam. He's not from the school of. Uh, he's not from the from the Cobra Kai school like I am. Because you know, in Cobra Kai, it's always um, strike first, strike hard, and most importantly, no mercy, no mercy. But Minlay is not Minlay is showing mercy, so I mean, he, he's got to he's got to leave. Uh, King H8, you trade his mate. There's must be a win. Ah, uh, knight D7, nice. Takes Queen H6 his mate. King moves, you take, and it's pinned. You're such a nerd. What's wrong? Everybody loved Cobra Kai. Actually, when is season when is season six or seven or whatever it is coming out? Yeah, no mercy. Strike first, strike hard. No mercy. Like he forgot the critical rule, which is no mercy. What's it? What's it, uh, is it? Is it break the leg, sweep the leg? I forget the exact saying, but um, yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta show no mercy, no mercy. Okay. By the way, Mag is already doing great. He can go C4 here. He's gonna push P with B5, B4, A3. Bishop moves. Maybe A3. A3 rook C1. B4, E4. Takes, 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 takes. Maybe not so bad for White after all. Get him, get him a body bag. Yeah. Yeah, season two was not the best season of Cobra Kai. I feel like overall, the other seasons were all very, very good. Last season was really good. Uh, this should be great for White. Bishop F3 or G2? I'd probably go to G2, but he goes to F3. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to go D5 here. Just D5 and explode the center at some point. D5, explode the center. Takes. I mean, this is pretty terrible. I'd play H4, H5 here personally. But H4, H5 maybe is still okay for Black. He wants to go rook d7. This pawn shouldn't be a big issue. You should just play like e, maybe e7. I'd go e7 and rook b6 maybe. Goes rook b5. See, the problem here is that you don't have a, you don't have a t what? Check. Tricky take. Rook a8 maybe or f8. I don't know which one's best. Bishop f5. Rook d5. Knight d3. Bishop e3. It goes back. Still very hard to play. The time is even. It's going to create a wooden shield with the bishop on d4. Wooden shield time. Rook c8. G2. G4. Start pushing p. H5. King f5. Important move. 
check. Um, I'm pretty sure Bishop G7 wins. He misses Bishop G7 and Rook H6 for real. Oh! What is Rook F4? Magnus needs, Magnus needs to buy a better mouse. Magnus needs to buy a better mouse. I'm sorry. This is just not acceptable. No, this is just not acceptable. Magnus needs, to, Magnus needs to spend some of that hard money that he's earned over his chess career and buy a better mouse. This just isn't how you get it done. Too many mouse slips. Too many mouse slips. The quality is disappointing me. It's, it's not that he's drunk. He, he's just, yeah, he needs a better mouse. He needs better DPI. I don't know what's wrong with him. Um, so let's see. Knight F1 or D4. Okay, big white center here from Magnus. This is a Gucci piano. He wants to go Knight C4 at some point. Maybe H3, G3. Plays H3. Cuts off Bishop G4. Queen C2. Maybe Bishop A3 or Bishop B2. Yep. Now he's going to go C4. Open up the scope here on this diagonal. Send him one. You're a millionaire. <laughs> yeah, he sacrificed the rook. Yeah. Yeah. So knight takes d4 played. Um, knight f3 is played here. Maybe knight f4. Maybe knight e5 is, is possible. So he takes e takes f5. Maybe queen d7. G4 or g g3 traps. No, it doesn't because you can take to the pin. Um, but yeah, takes rookie eight. You can take and go g3 again. G3, very strong move. And if queen e7, just knight f3. So next game coming up. Next game. Okay, we, we're gonna get another Tory here. So what do we have? We have E5 here, I guess E3, maybe E4, F5, Bishop E6, also pretty decent. Um, you can also castle here, play E4, F5. Uh, this looks, yeah, this looks better for white, but it, eh, he's going to get fossilized. Takes here, knight moves, takes, takes, bishop h is bad. He undoubled the double stack here. You have the double stack, it's not so good. He undoubles it, he doesn't win anything in return. So mag is probably in really, really good. There's also like maybe A6 and F5 here. F5 is a move, doesn't play it. How much DPI? I use like 800. Whoa, A3? What? There must have been something better. Knight A2 and B5 maybe? I'm not sure. But yeah, now you go Knight, B knight takes E5? Huh? Oh, Queen D6. Magus tricked him. Knight C6 and E5 takes, 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 takes. Ah, but he has Bishop C4. I didn't see Bishop C4. Queen F5, Bishop G7, Queen G6. Yeah, okay. Queen g4, b3, bishop e6. Yeah, b3, bishop e6. Bishop e6 anyway. Very, very good. Yeah. Queen g5 is queen d7. Oh, queen d8! Queen takes rook. He hung the rook. Huh? What? 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 He resigned? No, you can't be serious. Okay, next game coming up, I assume. Are we going to get another game? No, and they, they end on that note. I, I mean, no, 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 no. That's no good. How do you do that? Dude, chill out, chill out, chill out. Okay, dude, you want to get banned? Fine. Okay, there you go. I'm sorry, I don't want to ban people right off, but if you're going to be stupid, I'm going to have to ban you guys. Yeah, is that the last game that we get? That's the last game I think we get here. Uh, that's the last game that we get. I guess Magnus probably realized that Queen takes D8 was winning, and so he's like, so he stopped there. So when all is said and done, Magnus does win the match by a score of 27.5 to 18.5. Not even a 2-1 to one margin. Um, it's like 1.5 to 1.